I need to check it out too. Uh, Sony believes that PlayStation 5 is now in the latter half of its life cycle. Uh, I've never been affected by this because I do not have one. Uh, Daniela, what do you think about PlayStation 5? What's your take on PlayStation 5? How do you feel about it today? I like it still. Okay. I still like my my PlayStation. I think it's had a nice, healthy, like half a life cycle here. Okay. But like I said earlier, like, I mean, the Xbox, uh, series x and playstation 5 they didn't release too far apart from each other and we we know that it's kind of like the halfway point for them so i mean this isn't a surprise clearly sony isn't going to say they're going to make leaps and bounds just yet for this next gen but yeah it'll be right back like we'll be talking about playstation 6 probably in the next two years right and probably get it physically in hand in five Mm, okay it's interesting so, so you're saying already that they will call it PS6. Again, we, we're going to reiterate <laughs> if like the formula doesn't like affect and it's working for them. Let's just keep going with it. Right. Right. Like it's kind of like, I don't know. So, so what, what else are they going to call it? I don't know. I, I really don't know. But what about the games? So we're not really expecting any major games from them until like 2025. That was one of the things that was uh, said recently. Uh, what's your take on that? In the major franchises, nothing from them. I think they are preparing for a very rough year. Clearly in this meeting that they had with um, their investors and everything like that, like seemed like they were pretty upfront with it. Like, hey, we're not releasing anything. We're going to have a decline. But it also sounds like, but next year, next year is going to be incredibly profitable. Mm. Whatever they have going on, releasing I mean, Kojima is going to be a big part of that for next year, but ah, that's kind of rough to like, kind of like, did they just kind of realize like, oh, damn, we didn't put anything on the books this year. It's I mean, it's an interesting thing, but like, but they they're saying we're going to fill the time with other things, which is the next bullet point. So. So although we're not going to say anything until at least April of 2025, according to the articles that are out, they're going to fill that time with other releases or ports on the PlayStation uh, on the on the PC platform. Right. So it says here, uh, PlayStation boss says first party PC releases will be part of aggressive growth plan. So between now and then we're going to see more PC titles. I know it upsets the individuals who are saying, hey, we only want to see this game here and we don't want anyone else to play. That's kind of selfish in a way, I think, you know, and I used to be part of the console war, you know, Jersey team or whatever. But, you know, after a while, you kind of take off the jersey and say, hey, you know what? I want to play everywhere. You know, that's I want to play on PC. I want to play on Nintendo. I want to, you know, cross play Warframe with everybody, you know, have all the fun. Right. So if that's the case, that means that within the next year or two, we should see some of the major releases that are currently on PlayStation only on PC. And what what's left? Spider Man is left. What else? Is, what else is there? Any new God of Wars or packages of that? We'll see that. Hey, I'm trying to think about that right now. I don't know. That's what I'm mean, saying. I, I, I'm sure. And I'm sure it's going to also be pulling out from even older games that haven't been ported to PC yet. That's that's what I'm saying. So if that's the case, then they have a big library to pull from to actually get that done. So it's not like they're going to be, you know, down as much. They're going to get more awareness with everything that they've built on a PC platform. And who benefits from that? Not just PC players. I know we like to say that, but anybody who decides to go the PC route, it's not you. No one's telling you to stay on the platform that you're on. That's a choice that you've made. No one, no one's forcing you to stay there, but go ahead. I yield. I just, I don't know what to make of it fully. It's just very interesting how Xbox, what Xbox's approach is, is just kind of a little bit more aggressive of developing these games, releasing these games, putting it out there where PlayStation's more of, we're still working on these titles, we're still working on these games, we are going to focus a good majority of ourselves on these other projects. That's not necessarily directly to releasing a game this year. So this feels like they're pulling back some resources to really push this other 
avenue of their growth plan, whatever that may be. Can, um, we, can we pull up a list of PlayStation exclusives, if you don't mind? Because I'm, yeah. I'm really curious, like what is left? I don't want to use my phone right now. It makes, you know, make it do a whole bunch of noise. Like what is left? And just like name some some of the ones that we didn't mention. I know we mentioned Horizon and some the Last of, of Us. Last of Us. Okay. Days Gone. Days Gone. The guy with the motorcycle, Deacon. That's what that's I was a, thinking. Okay, that's the one you're yes. thinking about. Yes. Then you have old classics that were remade. You have Shadow of the Colossus, The Last Guardian. Those are kind of the the major ones. Is that it? That's Ghostwire it. Tokyo. Gran okay. Turismo. That's a long Gran standing Gran Turismo. One. Okay, fair enough. Ghost of Tsushima. Which we haven't seen yet, right? On PC. Mm-hmm. So there's a few. There's a few. So yeah, we'll we'll have to see how it plays out. We'll have to see how it plays out. Yeah. So days that's what it was. Days gone with the zombies and all that stuff. Yeah. That that title was was kind of interesting too. Um but yeah, so that's all we have, Daniela. Anything else? Any any final words before we get out of here? Um randomly just popped up into my head here because I think it came out, the trailer came out. For, for a couple of days ago was like you have the X Men ninety seven coming mm. out. Oh my goodness. Okay. Next I need a link. Next, next I show. A link. We're gonna talk about it because I got chills. I'm gonna be super excited. Yeah. Coming out. I need a so, link, please. We're gonna have to go through that. All right. But yeah. Enough. Other than that, we can talk about that next time because it's it's gonna be available next month, I think, on Disney Plus. Oh, fair yeah. enough. Fair enough. No, that's that's cool. All right. So so guys, thanks you thank you for watching. Uh thank you for listening. Uh please like, subscribe. We really do appreciate that. I'm Andrew. You can find me here, uh Andrew Alliance uh, on YouTube uh, at Uriah on Twitter. Where can I find you, Daniela? And you can find me on all the socials at Miss DJM. And thank you so much, guys, for tuning in.